Bibliophiles of the Internet. My name is Adriana and today, the day I'm filming this video, is my birthday and I'm here to unwrap some gifts. So it's the morning of October 5th, 2015, my 23rd birthday, and yes, I have successfully completed 23 years of life with a 100% survival rate. So go me. And I know you can't see it, but I'm wearing a brand new shirt that says I'm still killing it because I'm 23 years old and I'm still killing it. So for reasons that are beyond me, some of my lovely booktube friends have elected to send me birthday gifts and that is so insanely kind and generous that I can't even wrap my mind around that. So to everyone who sent me gifts, thank you, thank you, thank you. Side note, I love birthdays so freaking much, but I think it's so strange that essentially people are just like congratulating you on being born and giving you gifts because you're alive. And I'm like, thanks, I didn't really do much, but I accept your offerings. So with all of that said, I'm going to get started with the presents. The first thing I have to open here is not a package, but a little envelope. And I think it's going to have a card or a postcard in it. And I'm going to assume this is from Shelly from Collie of the Wobbles because it says it was sent by Royal Mail and the stamps have like a foreign currency sign on them. I know, I'm basically Sherlock. It's a card. My detective skills were on point. It was a birthday card and it is from Shelly from Collie of the Wobbles and it says have a fun filled birthday. So thank you so much Shelly. And inside that was this and I have no idea what this is so I'm going to open it. Oh, you wrapped this very good Shelly. Oh, these are so cool. She sent me these awesome earrings that say read more diverse books and these are so freaking cool. I'm going to wear them all the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shelly. The next thing I have to open is this package. There is a story behind this one, actually. So Kristen from Cap89X and Erica from Snogging on Sunday Books and myself all organized this Libralicious birthday gift exchange because we realized our birthdays were all within a week of one another. Kristen's was on September 29th, Erica's was on October 4th, and mine, of course, is on October 5th. So each of us sent the other two a book. I have not looked at the card, but I'm going to assume this one is from Kristen because it's vaguely in the shape of a graphic novel. My parents taught me right and I'm gonna read the card first. For the record, I was right. This is from Kristen. It says, Hi Adriana, happy birthday. I feel like this is the perfect October read. I hope you love it. I have no idea what it is, but I hope I love it too. Now I get to open it. Ooh, I had a feeling it was going to be this. I'm so excited. This is the first volume of Witches by a bunch of artists and writers who I don't know, but I'm sure who are all amazing. I have no idea what this is about, but look at this psychedelic art. It's going to be so good. Bam, dat nipple dough. What I'm getting from this is evil things lurking in the woods, and that is definitely my aesthetic, so thank you so much, Kristen. I will definitely try to read this one in October. I'm still waiting for Erica's gift, but when I get it, I will insert another unboxing clip for that. Hey everyone, it is a completely different day. It is Saturday, October 10th, and I just got Erica's package in the mail. But I also got another package, which I know is from Sam at Thoughts on Tomes, and I don't know which one is which. So I have this bigger box here, and I have this single box here, and I don't know which one to open first. So I guess I'll start with this package here. I love pull tabs. What? I'm opening the box. I have no idea what this is or who it's from. It's not wrapped though. Ooh, yay. So it turns out this one is from Sam. Before I show you what she got me, I'll read her note and it says, happy belated birthday. I heard this involves some kick-ass matriarchal societies, which give us both life. And also I have this on my TBR, so possible future buddy read, love Sam. And yes, Yes, we are definitely reading this one together. She got me a copy of The Mere Empire by Cameron Hurley. Honestly, I couldn't even begin to summarize this book, but I've heard so many great things and I love fantasy. And this seems like one of those really meaty fantasies that's really fun to read and to really dig into. And yes, I cannot wait to read this with you, Sam. We definitely have to do that sometime soon. Since I don't know what this is about, I think we should just read the first sentence and see what happens. The first sentence of the prologue says, when Lilia was four years old, her mother filled a shallow dish with Lilia's blood and fed it to the boars that patrolled the thorn fence. 
I have no idea what that's about, but I'm in. Thank you so much, Sam. You're such a wonderful person, and this was the perfect choice. I can't wait to read it together, like I said, and oh my god, I just love this. So by process of elimination, that means that this box is from Erica from Snogging on Sunday Books. I have my scissors and I'm ready to go. I do not endorse the reckless use of scissors, just for the record. There's packaging paper that's covering the book from my view, but I found her little note and it says, Hi Adriana, happy birthday my Libra friend. I think you are awesome. Bibliophiles for life. Thank you, Erica. You are so lovely. Oh! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you got me this. I'm so excited. I didn't even see the cover. I just saw this tagline on the back and I knew exactly what this was. She got me a copy of The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. I have been low key wanting to buy this book for so long, so thank you so much, Erica. I would have just bought this for myself anyways, but now you just saved me the money, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All I really know about this book is that it's about reincarnation. The main character, Harry August, always dies and then he restarts his life as a child, but he maintains the knowledge that he has from his past lives, and I have no idea what happens, but it just sounds like it's going to be great. So these are the two books I got from Erica and Sam respectively. Thank you so much, ladies. You're so wonderful and kind and generous, and you've always been much too good to me, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So without any further ado, let's get you back to the original video. This package right here is from Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment, so thank you so much, Sylvia. The card says, do not open Open until birthday. Don't worry, I didn't. It says from Sylvia. Happy birthday, Adriana. I read this queer book this year and it's definitely one that I would want other people to read regardless of my thoughts about it. I hope you love it. The fact that this is a queer book already is making my life. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. This is Ash by Melinda Lowe. From the little I know, I think this is a queer retelling of Cinderella where the main character I think is bisexual. I'm so happy that you got me this book, Sylvia. Like seriously, I have been wanting to read like everything from Melinda Lowe because I know she writes queer ladies of color in all of her books. So this is very, very exciting. This package is from my queen, Penelope, from Penelope's Picks, so thank you, Penelope, in advance. Her card says, you've never read this? Well, allow me to fix that. Happy birthday, girl. I hope you like this one as much as 17-year-old Penelope did. I'm sure I will. I don't know what this is. I like trying not to look. Oh my God, I nearly bought this for myself like two seconds ago. God bless you, Penelope. Oh my God, I've wanted this book for so long. I knew we were connected. It's like you know me. It's so weird, but it's so beautiful and I love you so much. She got me The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I am so excited. I know I'm going to love this book. I haven't even read anything by Donna Tartt ever in my life, but I know I'm going to love this book. And if you love this book, Penelope, then you know I'm going to love this book. So I'm so excited. I really have no idea what this is about. I know it's about a group of college students who are taking some kind of classical course in university and that's it. I know nothing and I want to know nothing, but I know this is going to be a good one. Penelope, I have never been more happy that we can read each other's minds. Thank you so freaking much. This box right here is from Ivan at Sona Azra, and oh my gosh, I can't even put into words how much I value our friendship. You are literally one of the best people I've met through booktube, and I really do consider you one of my closest friends. Plus, you know, once you read Captive Prince and Princess Gambit together, there's no going back. We're on a completely different level now. I'm looking at the contents of this box, and I can't even handle it. Ivan, you are so perfect. The first thing I see in this box is Lies We Tell Ourselves by Robin Talley. Ivan read this book last month and he really, really loved it. He was voxing me the entire time he read this book and I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life. And he was like, I'll buy it for you for your birthday. So now he did and this is so crazy. I'm so excited. I have never read anything by Robin Talley but I have already accepted her as my queen. Her presence on social media in general is just so incredible and you can tell she really cares 
about queer representation and about getting it right. So I love her already and I can't wait to read her books. This is the story about two queer ladies living in 1959 Virginia at the height of the civil rights movement and they are an interracial couple. So it's all about getting past those boundaries of race and getting to know one another and whether they will be allowed to be together. And his note for this one says, hey, you know how much I love this book and I hope you love it just as much if not more. But with you already having complete faith in the author from her social media accounts alone, I can tell that you'll love this book to pieces. And his other note says, I know I said I was going to get you lies we tell ourselves, but when I see this book about a mother trying to find her daughter while the world is ending, I just had to throw it in the order as well. Enjoy the books and your birthday. Ivan, I love you. Ivan also got me The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. Before I even say anything else, N.K. Jemisin is a female fantasy author of color. Like, yes, yes. Yes! I should have known that Ivan was going to send me this book because he was telling me about it on Voxer and he was telling me that it has like the single best dedication of any book ever. And based on this dedication alone, I'm going to freaking love this book and this author so damn much. And it says, for all those who have to fight for the respect that everyone else is given without question. I'm going to try my hardest to read this book before the end of the year because I know I'm going to love it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ivan, you are the best. And lastly, I have a package here from my best friend. Before I open this package, I just wanna say that my best friend and I are like on a completely different level. We've been friends since we were 10 years old, so we know each other so well, and we're so connected that we don't even exchange like wish lists or drop hints. We just know each other so well, and we see something and we're like, she needs that ASAP. I am insanely curious to see what's in this package, so I'm going to open it. Thank God it's just an envelope. I can open those. This is so crazy. I've never even talked about this book with her, but I've been wanting this book so badly. She bought me this bridge called My Back, Writings by Radical Women of Color. Oh my God. This is an anthology of work done exclusively by women of color about feminism through things like short stories, personal essays, criticism, poetry, visual art. I could not be more pleased. With this gift, she knows me so well. It's scary. Just like with Penelope, I can't even fathom that she just knows me so well and she knows my mind so well that she found the perfect gift for me. Like, what is happening? Also, did you notice my other birthday gift, which I have displayed here in the background? My sister got me a set of free Iwatobi Swim Club buttons, which are making my life right now. So here they are, the gangs all together again. And these will be promptly going on my backpack. So here are all the books that my crazy friend sent me. Thank you again so much to everyone who sent me a gift. And seriously, if you also had a gift wrapped, they charge like three or four dollars more for that. So seriously, thank you. So again, a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone whose gifts I opened today. I really, really appreciate this and you have all truly made my day. And also thank you to everyone who sent me lovely birthday wishes on Twitter and everyone who has just been so supportive of everything that I do. I really, really appreciate your kind and uplifting words and you're all so supportive and that really and truly means the world to me. So thank you so much. I value each and every one of you and you're all so awesome. But that is everything I had for this unboxing video today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye!